okay so let's quickly go ahead and add rotation to our player and then we will test our all player movement all right so for the rotation right here after the movement speed add another public float by the name of rotation speed which will be equals to 12 by default then after that let's create a method for it so we will say void handle rotation all right then in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a vector 3 by the name of target direction which will be equals to vector 3 dot 0 all right then this target direction will be equals to camera object dot forward multiply by the input manager dot vertical input okay then target direction will be equals to target direction plus camera object dot right multiply by the input manager dot horizontal input all right then we will say target direction dot normalize and then target direction dot y will be equals to zero after this we will say quadronian target rotation equals to quadronian dot look rotation and pass the target direction to it all right once we do that then we will create another quadronian by the name of player rotation it will be equals to quadronian dot lerp then we will say transform dot rotation pass the target rotation and then the rotation speed and multiply that by time dot delta time okay then we will say transform dot position equals to the player rotation okay now let me tell you what we are doing in here starting from the first line what we did in the first line is we initialize the target direction vector to zero then in the second line we calculate forward backward direction based on camera forward direction and the vertical input then in the third line we add left right direction based on cameras right direction and the horizontal input after that we normalize the direction vector so that the diagonal movement doesn't result in faster movement after that we set the y component to zero to prevent rotation in the vertical axis player should only rotate on the ground plane all right then we create a quadronian that represent the rotation needed to look in the target direction then we smoothly interpolate between the player current rotation and the target rotation using the slurp or lerp All right its full form is spillaker linear interpolation then in the last line we assign the calculated rotation back to the player's transform to update its rotation okay that is all what is happening in the handle rotation method so once we have the handle movement and handle rotation now the next thing which we will be doing right here is to create a parent method for it by the name of handle all movement okay and in here we will call the handle uh, movement method and then the handle rotation method Okay, once you do that then you can get back to the unity editor but wait 
right here since we are dealing with the player rotation we need to type rotation right here instead of the position okay then you can get back right here and as you can see these are the script now before testing it we need to create one more script by the name of player manager click on player drag and drop the script and open it up then what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that and at the top we will make a reference to our input manager script okay then to our player movement script so player movement name it as player movement as well then in the awake method we will set up the reference first to the input manager so we will say get component then right here we will say input manager okay then we have the player movement so get component player movement all right after that we will create a update method in which we will say input manager dot handle all right on the input manager what we gonna do is right here we will create a method by the name of handle all inputs all right in which we are gonna call the handle movement input method all right then we can call this handle all inputs method right here in the update and from the player movement script we will also call the handle all movement method okay once you do that then you are all good to go all right click on player movement right here let's make this camera object public because we will be adding the camera object reference manually so just drag and drop the main camera in there and for the rigid uh, body we need to add a rigid body component so just type rigid body and it will show up right here okay this is the rigid body you can click on constraint and freeze the rotation on the XYZ and also you can click and add a capsule collider as well so let me move down click on edit let's move it up there move this from the bottom as well okay where is it here it is let's move it up to the player feeds then we need to change its radius as well to 0.2 for example okay once we do this then we are ready to test our game so click on game view and let's play the game right here we are this is our player now as you can see the player can rotate around in the environment and move as well as you can see but if you notice if you move the player to the left side it moves to the left side but it face the camera forward position as you can see okay this is not an error or a bug okay but if you don't want this then we will fix this in the upcoming video so don't worry about this okay but now as you can see our player can move around in the environment and rotate as well to all of the direction as you can see and now with this done let's end this video right here